Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, welcome back to our next series of lecture. Today I present how to solve uh, the traffic flow equation. So, you remember that. So, now solving traffic flow. So, in our earlier lecture, we had uh, remember that uh, we have del rho by del t plus. So, when we, we derive uh, the continuity equation, so del by del x rho of u is equal to 0, and then if u is a function of rho, then rho of u is a function of rho only. Say, for example, f of rho, yeah, then we have this equation del rho by del t plus del by del x of f of rho is equal to 0. So, this was our example. Yeah? And now, in uh, traffic, in traffic case, we had u of rho, so u as a function of rho, is uh, u of max 1 minus rho over rho max, where u max is the maximum velocity of car and rho max is the maximum density of cars on a road. So, if you plug so, what we have, so you have, so is a rho, u of rho function. If rho is 0, then we have, if rho is 0, then we have u of rho is u max, there is a maximum velocity here, u max. So, if rho is equal to rho max, yeah rho is equal to rho max, it means if I have somewhere rho max here, the maximum density, what, how it, so it, it, because you may have, you cannot have more, so if you just count, so at in certain per meter, or a per 100 meter, you may have the maximum density, then this is u is equal to 0 here. So, then we have some, something like a linear profile, yeah. So, this is just a linear relation. So, here rho max is a jam density. If the cars 
reach its maximum value, then we have jam. So you cannot go further. It means there you your u of rho is the velocity of all cars would be zero. So now for just to simulate, just to see the feeling, for example, consider we make a life very simple. So suppose u max is one, rho max is one. So you can take ten or what is the maximum speed of the car? So, but for example, I just take scale to one. So, you may have 40 kilometer per hour here. Rho max will be, I don't know how many cars in 100 meter or 50 meter. So, you know the length of the car plus the length of the truck. So, there are many. So, one has to estimate with the, with the data. So, just for the sake of simplicity, I am taking u max is 1 and rho max is 1. So this implies, so our equation 27.1 says that, equation 27.1 is written, rewritten as del rho by del t plus del by del x of rho so I put u is u max 1 minus rho by rho max. So here rho u max is 1, then 1 minus rho by rho max is rho. Yeah, so this is my equation here in the simplified form. So this is 27.2. So I can apply the chain rule. This is in conservative form. I can write in primitive form using a product rule. So what you get del rho by del t plus the Fox function rho del by del x of 1 minus rho plus 1 minus rho del rho by del x is equal to 0. So here also we can simplify del rho by del t plus or minus. So is a rho, if you take the partial derivative del rho by del, del 1 by del x 1 is 0, then minus del rho by del rho is del rho by del x. So is a, this rho is here, this comes here minus sign. Then we get del rho by del x. I put this one on the right hand side. So what do I get? Minus 1 minus rho del rho by del x. So let us define as 27.3. So now express that into the Express 27.3. Now we want to solve with our particle method in the Lagrangian form. Now it is same as our before earlier case. So now here my characteristics is dx by dt is equal to in the Burger equation. What we had, we had plus rho, here it is a minus rho. So my d or d rho by dt is equal to the right hand side minus, so 1 minus rho, 1 minus rho del rho by del x. So this is uh, the system. So in discrete form, so we can write again dxi by dt is equal to minus rho of i, d rho i by dt is equal to minus 1 minus rho i del rho by del x i 
so explicit Euler scheme So if you approximate the partial derivative of this row at the point i, then we get explicit Euler scheme at i n plus 1 is x i of n minus delta t times rho n at level i. So here our time series is tn is n times delta t n equal to 0, 1. Yeah? So n is equal to 0 gives us the initial value. So x i then rho i of n plus 1 is rho of i n minus delta t 1 minus rho i. So this at level n. Now the partial derivative del rho i n by del x. Now we consider the boundary. So consider the boundary consider our domain is minus 2 to 2 yeah and we consider two initial value The first, the first initial condition I consider that uh, rho zero x is equal to. So I consider, for example, smaller zero point one if minus two less equal to less equal to x less equal to zero in the negative part. So I consider my boundary here minus 2 to 2, it is 0. So I consider initial value here rho 0 of x. So this is the x direction. So if it is on the negative part, I consider 0 0.1, so very less traffic. Yeah. If it is larger than that, I consider. 1. So, you see here rho 0 is 1, here rho 0 is 0 0.1. Yeah? 1 if 0 less equal to x, 0 is less than x less equal to 2. So, here what we see that because our rho is negative, so rho is coming from that side. So I have considered this side, there is a jam, yeah? And now if we have very less traffic, so even what will happen, they move, the jam will move, it comes further, yeah? So here, if less traffic means they go faster, but what will happen once they go faster, then here there is a jam. Then we get the jam is again coming back, 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 yeah? And then we get finally the jam increases. The second one, second initial condition, I consider rho 0 of x is equal to just opposite. What will happen? 0 0.1 if minus 2 less equal to x less equal to 0. 1 if 0 less equal to x less equal to 2. So in this case, I consider there is a x, this is rho 0 of x, it is a minus 2, here plus 2. So if this part I have less traffic, yeah. 0 0.1, rho 0 is 0 0.1, and this part I have high traffic, yeah? 
तो रो जीरो इज इज वन है तो वट विल हैपन सो ही इन दिस केस दैट इफ देर इज नो कार अज तो दिस कार विल मूव एंड देन फाइनली द जाम विल डिक्रीज एंड विल हैव थीनर एंड थीनर है बट अदर वे दैट इफ देर इज द कार इज देर इज अ लॉट्स ऑफ कार हियर एंड इफ आई एम मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस साइड देन आई विल हैव मोर द ट्राफिक द जाम विल गोज to that direction so now we consider the numerical part so nothing else so it is same as before so what we have to do we have to discretize our domain minus 2 to n with certain discrete number of grid point and then we generate the particle on the grid point on the on the domain and then we discretize we consider the discrete value of the initial value here rho old i just call it uh, in the beginning at t is equal to zero it is like a row old and then i use the discrete initial value here and use discrete initial value here then i do the time integration so when n is equal to 1 then i will have my xi of 1 is xi of 0 which is the initial value minus rho i of 0 so at Zero, the earlier value I call it as the row old, and the new value I call it as the row new. And then also the x, the first, the new one, n plus one, it will be the x new, and n will be x old. And then once I update new value x new and row in, and I put it back them as the x old and no uh, row old, and then I do the iteration. so this is same process as before so now let us see this two scenario in the computer simulation okay so now we we'll check the computer simulation okay now let us see the simulation so what we have now we have to solve dx by dt is equal to minus rho so this is uh, this is this equation yeah or discrete form dx i by dt is minus rho i And d rho by d t is equal to minus one minus rho partial derivative of rho with respect to x. So now my x mean I consider my is equal to minus two or a here. What I have the domain omega a is minus two and b is two, so that is x minimum and x maximum. So I consider two hundred uh, particle. So I consider delta x is x min minus x max y this n. So my h is three point five times delta x. So you can play. So I consider t final up to one point five. So alpha is the again the what we use the factor in the exponential function for the weight function. So it is three point zero. So again I have taken CFL is equal to zero point five. And then, so this is the grid generation. I generate the grid x i, and then I discrete. Then after once I have my discrete value, then I can discretize my initial condition. It means I write the initial value in the discrete form. So I define my x old is equal to x i. I can also define rho old. Rho old is already there. So rho new. in the beginning i can define as a rho old in matlab you know we don't need to write into the loop for example for photon we have to write in in this loop form now i start the time time integration so i start at t is equal to 0 and then i run until t is less equal to t final and my my velocity at every time step is the maximum velocity of maximum of value of this row so my velocity is that uh, what you see it is minus rho of i yeah so that is the maximum value i have to take because in the our linear case we had always the constant velocity but now we move all the particle with the value rho of i so i take the maximum value of rho old so it should be the even the absolute value Uh, it doesn't matter. It is uh, 
Yeah, I can take the, it is, it can be maximum of this one. So I could define my delta T. Then, so anyway, our rho is not going to be negative, so yeah, that doesn't matter. So now I run for all particle, finding the neighbor. And I select the upwind point if the, the velocity or rho is positive or negative. So now here, now I cannot take velocity the absolute value because it is, uh, it will be our minus, yeah. So if it is positive, I take the backward difference or the neighbor on the left. If it is negative, I take neighbor on the right. It is the same as our convection equation before. Then I compute the partial deri uh, derivative of rho with respect to x, so rho x. And then I plug that into the Euler scheme. What we have that x nu is equal to x old minus delta t times rho old of i. Rho nu is rho old minus delta t, 1 minus rho old of i, means rho old of n, times partial derivative of x with respect to rho at a point i which we have stored here. And then I just, I don't want to change my boundary, so I just use x nu of 1, this is a boundary value is 1, x old of 1, and x nu of last value is x old of last value, I do not move the two boundary points. And then after that, once I move the particle, so I have to do add or remove the particle as before. So here, in this case, I remove the closer particle here. And in this case, I remove the, I add the, the particle if they scatter. And then after that, I put, I reassign the old val value as uh, the new value of x as well as rho, and then I do the time increment of t is equal to now t plus delta t, and then I go up to the initial time loop here. So I run this until my t is less equal to t final. So let us see the simulation here. So somewhere I made a mistake. Let me do that again. If as it is, so what we see is that, so here what we see the jam is going towards this direction, yeah, because what we have that we have the, the velocity minus rho, so it is going this direction and then the density initially what we had, we have larger density, and if there are, if there is the, the, the velocity, even is a very smaller, here you have a larger velocity here, it is coming with the velocity is equal to 1, and then in front you have the velocity of minus 1, and in front you have the velocity minus 0 0.1, because it is, uh, rho is initially I have defined 1 and the, uh, the 0 0.1, the velocity will be the minus 1 and minus 0 0.1, it means I am going to negative direction. All the part, the, the car are coming with the high speed here, and in front they are the low speed. It means what happened is that the, the jam is start increasing. So here the jam which we had in the beginning, in the here the jam, and then after that the jam start growing. Yeah. So if you run longer, you will see the same situation. So more and more car will increasing in this direction, yeah? So jam is going to that direction. If you run a little bit longer, you can see even it is up to 0, 1.5. Let us run up to 2.0. So it, even it will go further. So here it means the jam, it is it's like a shock, yeah? So in the beginning, I had a shock. It is like a Riemann problem and then the shock propagate to this direction, yeah? Now, just put this opposite side, what will happen, yeah? So, if I consider the opposite direction, if I consider less 
yeah the less car from this side and then more car on that side what will happen so i just put it is called a rare faction so i will not have any shock so then i will have so my i change my density here if it is less equal to equal to 1 if it is larger so it was just before yeah so it is second initial condition so now just we will have the opposite scenario so what we will see now what it shows it means that the car it has uh, because here i have the car which are ahead yeah they are going faster here so in front so after that is less than 0 0.1 in the beginning yeah less than 0 0.1 in the beginning let us uh, make a break here a small pause here so that we'll see the initial value here so what do we see that this is the velocity here yeah this is a minus of rho and here this is minus one so if the car are going from left to right if this car are going faster and these are coming slower then what will happen that the our jam is going to be decreased so then they can go faster and faster because this car are already away yeah then our, there is no jam so it means we get something like a rare faction wave so let me comment it now let us see the animation so i have to again read on so now here you see that the jam the density is uh, somehow it is increasing on the left side because more and more are coming because uh, the, the whole the density is going to be decreased here yeah so in this initially we had the jam shock but here we have smooth solution this is called the rare faction wave so i think now we have learned a little bit uh, this traffic uh, scenario what we we observe in day-to-day uh, -day life on the road so that you can also experience a little bit so then i think we we stop uh, this uh, traffic flow equation and now we continue in the next lecture so i will start of doing that now what we have done that we have explicit euler scheme and now i want to do this is the first order and i want to do the time is step is second order and then let us see how it will be improved with the solution but we have to pay the price that if we increase the the time is order then we have to do more computation it means we, we need more computational time so so let us see in the next lecture uh, the the higher order at least i go for a second order time integration so thank you